Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we're celebrating Dot Day. Dot Day was created based on this book by Peter Reynolds because everyone loved how it just celebrates making a mark and being an artist, whatever it is that you do. It all starts with a mark, like a dot. So today we're going to be creating our very own dots. Now, if you're in class with me today, you're going to have a piece of paper that looks like this. It already has a big circle traced out on it to start your dot. If you're at home, all you need is a piece of paper and whatever coloring supplies you have. If you would like to already trace your dot like this one, I just used a bowl and traced around it to make that big circle, but you don't even need it. If you have markers, you could use them to make a dot in the middle, and then I'm going to use more colors of markers to go around that dot in the middle until it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm going to be using all the colors of the rainbow to color with today always making sure to snap my marker caps after, and I'm coloring with the side of the marker. Now notice, if I color with the tippy top of the marker, I don't cover as much space with my marker. I'm not coloring quite as fast, but if I hold it on its side and tilt it, it'll be so much faster. So I highly recommend if you use markers to try coloring on its side. And I kept going and going with all the colors until I got to the edge of my dot and filled it up with all of those circles. Now those circles have a fancy schmancy name. They are called concentric circles. They're called concentric circles, and that means that it's a circle inside of a circle, inside of a circle, inside of a circle, and a circle. They just keep getting bigger and bigger, and you keep going round and round with that circle, making sure you add a new ring each time. So I decided that I'm also going to show you what it would look like if you just had a plain white piece of paper and some crayons. I can still create that same dot with those circles round and round with all the colors, but this is your art. You get to make it however you want. If you don't want to use the same colors, well, that's up to you. Use your favorite colors. If you don't have colors at all, you can make a dot with just a pencil. You could even use a lined piece of paper. You could use a scrap piece of paper. You can make your dot anywhere. Anything that you have in front of you at home or in art class is absolutely fine. You are the artist. Artists always clean up after themselves though, so make sure you put away your crayons or your markers or your supplies when you're done. Now in the book, the most important part was the ending, when Vashti said, sign it, just like the art teacher did. So we always sign our artwork when we're done to make it official. So sign your name when you're done with your dot and then you can be done and call it a masterpiece. Now you can make as many dots as you want. You can make one, you can make 10 on the same page. It's totally up to you. I can't wait to see what awesome creations and marks you make today. Happy Dot Day.